to immigration. And immigration promised us that they would give the visa waivers. We're not complaining too much because we are grateful that you allowed so many to come. Today we live in a world in which there is intimidation and slaughter. You are picked up from a street and you disappear in Pakistan. Why? Intimidation. We live in a world today where if you want to perform the Hajj, you are forced. It's mandatory. You must have a swine flu vaccination. We're going to resist that. We don't want mandatory vaccination. We want to be allowed to choose. Life and death are in Allah's hands. But we know what kind of a bag of tricks you have. And we don't trust you. Our prophet has warned us. He said that in the last day there will be great liars. And we know about the lies. And we are not a people of patta cake, patta cake bakers, man. We say, no, you did it. We say the Israeli Mossad and the CIA jointly planned and executed 9-11. If I were to say that in New York, I might disappear. And if you say we don't have the evidence for saying that, then we challenge you. Come forward, any one of you listening on the radio today. Come forward. If you say that the American government is truthful in what happened on 9-11, while we say they're telling monstrous lies to pursue political and economic goals that are despicable, if you say that they are truthful, then come forward and let us pray to the one God, the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, the God of Jesus, the God of Muhammad. Allah's blessings be upon them all. Pray to him to ask him to visit with eternal curse and eternal punishment whosoever is untruthful in this matter you or I come on Rabbi I'm waiting for you there is an uncanny parallel between ancient Egypt and the world today economically and politically I want to take you to one verse of the Quran. Molana Siddiq quoted many verses. I'll quote only one. And it's a story I have to tell. You may not agree with my interpretation of the verse, but don't let that be a source of a quarrel and a boxing match today, please. It is in Surah to Yusuf. Sorry, Surah to Yunus. And uh, the Pharaoh and his army were pursuing Moses and his band of followers. And when we reached to the water, some of us thought we were trapped because we were between the devil and the deep blue sea. But then Allah inspired Musa alayhi salam, Moses. Take your staff and strike the water. And as he struck the water, the water parted. As tomorrow, something else will part when the son of Mary comes back. And as the water parted, the land became dry. And we crossed. We crossed safely to Sinai. Sinai, the desert, not the hospital in Manhattan. And then when Pharaoh attempted to cross with his army, Allah sent down the waters. And they were all drowned. وَإِذْ فَرَقْنَا بِكُمُ الْبَحْرِ فَأَنْجَيْنَاكُمْ it happened before your very eyes. But something happened while Pharaoh was down there drowning. 
as tomorrow they will be drowning who today are waging war on Islam. So recklessly, take a lesson from what happened to Pharaoh. As he was drowning, you know, drowning people, the, the veils come off the eyes. And as the veils came off the eyes, he realized that he was not God. And so he declared, I now believe in their God, the God of Banu Israel. This is just before he died. To which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala responded in Surah to Yunus, al an now Pharaoh, وَقَدْ عَسَيْتَ قَبْلُ And before this you were in obstinate, arrogant rebellion. وَكُنْتَ مِنَ الْمُفْسِرِينَ And you were committing fasad. Fasad. Fasad is that which corrupts. A corruption which destroys. And there's political fasad. The Quran points to it. There's economic fasad. The Quran points to it. There's fasad in agriculture. Destroying the purity of food. There's facade in the male-female relationship. There's so many forms of facade in the Quran. And Pharaoh is involved in many forms of facade. For Yawm, Allah then responded. Today, Pharaoh. This day, we have decided to preserve your physical body. Badan, your body. Why? Why? لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً That your physical body, when it resurfaces in the historical process, when it is rediscovered one day, one day, one day, that body, when it is rediscovered, would function as a sign from above. For a people who will take a little time to read the signs of Allah. لِتَكُونَ لِمَنْ خَلْفَكَ آيَةً What is the sign? And now I give my opinion. You can agree or disagree. The sign is that those who live the way he lived will die the way he died. He waged war on Islam and look at the end he was an arrogant oppressor all powerful Musa al-Islam didn't even have a tank no and he oppressed he used his power to oppress that was political oppression and he enslaved people as today mankind is being enslaved Masa day ain't done. But we pray that Dr. Williams may be given the credit and the blessings for having stood up to declare Masa day done. Masa's greatest day of all is around the corner. It's coming. He stood up and he denounced oppression. And today that oppression is coming back. Pharaoh was an oppressor, political oppression and economic oppression. He was involved in violence and slaughter as they are doing it today around the world. And most of all, he waged war on Islam. And so those who, in a time which is to come, and when the body of Pharaoh is discovered, that's the sign that the countdown has begun. That's the sign.